and uh, now I'm going to show you how to disable secure boot that's a feature invented by Microsoft or Apple don't know who but uh, they didn't want unsigned bootloaders to work any longer and as we'll install an unsigned bootloader um, we need to disable that feature um, it's uh, different on different computers and mainboards <coughs> the way we do it and uh, we need to uh, find out which key we need to press. On my Acer computer it's um, F2 uh, on my Median computer it's uh, F2 as well but I've heard that it's sometimes ASK as well and uh, if none of these works just um, Google your computer and boot options or BIOS in order to find out which key you need to press. Otherwise you can also use um, the Ubuntu bootloader which will come up automatically and now I'll press F2 as fast as possible in order to open it and now the boot options have come up you see that menu here and um, if we go to boot we see that secure boot is enabled but um, it's grayed out maybe it'll look a little bit different on your machine but basically it should be enabled as well and um, because it's grayed out we need to set a password a supervisor password to change this setting so we'll go to set supervisor password and type in a password take an easy one don't take a complicated one and make sure not to forget it because we'll remove the password in half a minute and um, if you forget the password you have typed in you'll have many difficulties in order to restore it again so just um, do not forget it and now we see that uh, the secure boot option is not grayed out any longer so we can disable it then we go back to security and um, then we'll reset the password so we just type our old password again then we type enter twice and then we can continue and now we see secure boot is disabled so we are done and now we can exit save and changes then we get into grub that's uh, the bootloader which has been pre-installed when we installed uh, Ubuntu and um, the last option inside here so this is what you can do if you don't find out the key then you can just use the system setup option and if we um, pr would press enter now then we would uh, then the computer would reboot into the BIOS options so that's uh, also a possibility to get into the BIOS and um, the first two options we have inside grub here are Ubuntu kernels as this is Ubuntu studio I have two options here and um, then the other option is um, Windows boot manager on SDA2 and uh, that's only the Windows 8 boot manager we have set up the Windows 7 boot manager but uh, the entry doesn't appear here because um, Grub doesn't know how to find the bootloader we have created so inside the new bootloader inside refine which we'll install we'll just add the entry for Windows 7 manually and then it'll boot as well and um, in order to install refine we just go up here to Ubuntu and then we boot Ubuntu 